ever would have known I'm all excited about like address house numbers. YouTube channel update. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Laundry Chit Chat. As I catch up with all of you about what's been going on, what I'm watching, what I'm reading, as I fold my laundry. Hello, this is my office. I'm here like every single day. If you're aware, we have been doing a house renovation. And the outside is somewhat about 75% mm, completed. We're still waiting on some of the contractors to actually give us an estimate on the two side doors we still have to order that and because everything is in such a delay far as supplies and all that yeah I can just imagine I don't know I <laughs> I'm hoping that everything could be done by March I'm hoping I'm supposed to be meeting up with our contractor again tomorrow to go over some stuff on the roof it's so it's in process it's in process my husband Jay has been working around the house trying to clean up after everything because some of the plaster you know fell on the the driveway and all that so he's been out there with the pressure washer trying to get all that stuff uh, cleaned up and there are certain hardware that I need to replace like I got like an um, a new mailbox, a new porch light. I just, it's really looking really pretty. And it's so nice because a lot of our neighbors are like pissed off. Oh my God, your house looks beautiful. You have like a brand new house. I'm like, I know. But trust me, it's been a long time waiting. Jay is actually planning on putting our house numbers uh, up. So whoever would have known, I'm all excited about like address house numbers. That's kind of what I'm doing with the house projects. Also, I am doing decluttering, of course. I'm slowly but surely going. Uh, but with the holidays and everything, I hope you guys all had a ho good holiday. Happy New Year to all of you. I'm hoping that this year, 2022, is going to be a good year. <laughs> Praying up to the gods up there. Now that the holidays are over, now it's Valentine's. So how many of you, do you guys celebrate Valentine's? What do you guys do for Valentine's? For us, I normally just cook dinner. <laughs> Something that we all enjoy. I might, usually I'll make either cupcakes or I'll bake a cake for us. I do have some Valentine's decorations and that's somewhere in the attic. And I need to go and grab those and bring them down here so that I can start decorating a little bit for Valentine's Day. I try my hardest just to make things a little bit more brighter around the house, especially from my mom. That's what we do for Valentine's. We, Jay and I will probably normally will exchange a card from the heart. But you know, I don't know. We just haven't had a chance to really go all out for Valentine's Day. But let's face it. I mean... I'd rather just stay home <laughs> safely healthy <laughs> in my house if you know what I mean I have been trying to spend some time quality time with Jay so my time is <laughs> watching TV we have been watching on the Disney Channel is it Hawkeye yeah Hawkeye it's really good. We're really enjoying that one. We just finished the last episode last night. Uh, Lost in Space, you guys. Any of you guys watch Lost in Space? You know, Danger Robinson. You know, that one, that movie was like way back in the past. Um, it's on Netflix. We are, I think we were finally trying to catch up with the last season that just came out. I think we're like on episode... Is it four? I think we're in episode four. So we still have to finish up on that one. Emily in Paris just came out too. I have not even saw an episode yet. I think I started watching it five minutes in and I started falling asleep. That was really late at night. What else ones are we watching? There's a new one too. I think it's on Disney. The Bubba Hut. Is it Bubba Hut? We started to watch it last night, but again, we were so exhausted. So we're going to try again tonight. So we're going to watch that. That's like part of the Star Wars, Mandalorian, you know, all that good stuff. So that's kind of what we're watching. On TV, we finished up watching The Equalizer with Queen Latifah. I started watching The Connors. Do any of you guys watch The Connors? I'm so old school. And then, of course, with my mom, we like to watch, like, on Sundays, America's Funniest Videos because that's something, like, all three of us can enjoy. And, of course, there's always hockey. <laughs> 
super hockey fans and as well football right now the bay area you know with the 49ers we just won yesterday and then our raiders we lost uh to cincinnati but Yay, Cincinnati. I'm so happy for them. That was a really good game. Football in our family is a time where my dad and I, even though sometimes if I can't watch it, I'll hurry up and go downstairs and try to turn the TV on so I can watch the game because that's my time with my dad. Him and I will just kind of like exchange texts throughout the whole game. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> See, what I'm reading, I haven't really been reading a whole lot, but, but on my Audible... I have been reading, or listening, I should say. I have been listening to Life from Scratch by Vanessa Lachey, and I'm really enjoying it. She includes recipes in there. She's, you know, someone who's kind of dived into marriage and making traditions since her mother pretty much abandoned her and her father when she was really young. So she doesn't have really a lot of family traditions from her mother side, I guess. And so her and her husband, who is Nick Lachey from 98 Degrees, used to have the biggest crush on him. <laughs> they started to make their own family traditions. So she's kind of like telling about how her and Nick are starting their family traditions, including a lot of cooking. And it was interesting because today I was catching up one of her chapters and she talks about organizing your home, decluttering your home. And she has a lot of good tips and tricks for that. And I thought, I didn't know she included all that in her in her book. I really want to get the hardcover too, so I'm thinking about the next time I go to Target, I might pick that up. But that is the one book <laughs> that I have been trying to catch up on. Other than that, man, it's like the same old, same old. It's, um, you know, caregiving, homemaking. <laughs> Today I'm trying to make some time. I'm going through a cookbook and I'm trying to find like a slow cooker recipe for this week. I'm trying to I still have to do my meal plan. I had to make a grocery list so that tomorrow we can go to Costco and I can go to the grocery store and grab all of those items. As far as my YouTube channel update, I really don't have an update for this year. We're going to keep it as the same as always. I'm keeping up with the variety channel all of the content will remain the same i haven't done a laundry chit chat in a while so i thought i should throw that in to start off the whole new year if you haven't followed me on instagram you should join me over there on instagram because i think that's mainly where i think that's the social media platform that i'm mainly on and i'm at d lovey life i'll put it right here i try to keep up with stories and all that other good stuff sometimes i'm in just in the mood to grab my phone and just kind of go with it if it's taking a picture to share with you or if it's announcement or whatever if it's a new video a new vlog that's normally where i like to do my shout outs at go follow me there Facebook, mm, I don't know. I really need to get back on Facebook more and more so I can, I want to engage with more of you. Thank you guys so much for just commenting on my videos and on Instagram or even just messaging me or emailing me. I know that there were a couple of you who really wanted some of the items from my decluttering video. So I have saved those and I put them on, on the side for you. I checked my email and I did not see an email from you. So if you can email me your address and all that we can you know we can go ahead and discuss all of that in my email and again i do have a p.o box also listed on the about me if you always would like to send us a hello i really would like to be more consistent on my channel and i know you have been just a trooper following me on my crazy uploads i never could really stick to a schedule on YouTube for my channel. Because basically, as a caregiver, my priorities is Queen G. You know what I mean? So it's really hard for me to really give my full commitment to a schedule. But this year, as one of my goals, <laughs> is to actually try. Um, and that's all I can do. I can actually try to set a YouTube schedule. Tuesdays are basically going to be anything variety. It could be like a laundry chit chat, a meal plan, cooking with J or D. It could be a day in the life. It could be cleaning. I don't know. We'll go with the flow. 
And then Thursdays for the month of January, it might go February, I'm not too sure, but January for sure, I am doing decluttering videos every Thursdays. I may not do it on February, I'm not too sure if we'll keep it through February or you might skip every other month. I'm really not too sure. Again, it depends on my schedule and my calendar. And then on Saturdays is gonna be variety vlogs with D. So there you go, a little bit of catch up with you. I hope you guys are all doing well and you're continuing to be safe out there. Remember to take care of yourself. And if you haven't done so already, click on that subscribe button right here. Until the next one, you guys.